All right, guys. Welcome to another video. Today we are reacting to Kingdom, an animated short film, and it is it, it isn't just any animated film. It is like an inspirational, like animated film, and it actually just like touches your soul, man, literally. And I reacted to one of this, which I previously already watched, which was I was just explaining like, okay, what the short was about. But this one, I'm probably gonna have no idea what it's gonna be about. I guess somewhat, but let's get started here. So. Can art reveal, transform, and inspire? What does it take to redeem a culture left in ruins? So this is literally talking about like humanity, right? The current state of humanity, right? Because a lot of people, I mean, <laughs> there's, there's there's just like a split going on, you know? Uh, Kingdom is an audiovisual experience that serves as a template for empowerment. It models the path of awakening in the face of adversity, becoming whole, and confronting inner and outer darkness in order to transform it. The film's visual and musical arrangement imprints a more courageous way of being. With uh, repeated viewings, this imprint strengthens and becomes available to the viewer as an inner knowing. Uh, against the uh, it's against the immense odds that the brilliance of one's soul sparks ignites and it through the uh the yun well, what does it say unision i haven't really seen that word before of our sparks that purifying inferno of truth blazes one flame to ignite an inferno and I don't know what this means, but I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I'm, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. But literally, this is literally like inspirational. But let's let's react to it, bro. It's going to be pretty cool. All right, I can't wait for this. Seek first the... Is it kingdom? Whoa. Oh, I gotta turn this a bit down. This is pretty loud. So I'm guessing that's all of the, you know, darkness that plagues the world. And it's also plagued a lot of people. Their hearts, their minds. their soul the QR code on your phone and it's not gonna be on your phone <laughs> it's gonna be literally on you they already have it in China puppets But who's pulling the strings? CNN But the human spirit is way too strong. Take off the mask.
breathing. Edge disappears. Battling those inner demons. The inner child? I like that. Pick up the sword, man. Man, I like that beat. They can't. Angel time. Hmm. You see that little spark right there? Oh man. One candle can light a thousand candles. We can't do it alone. Gave me goosebumps right now. See, everybody has their own sword. The armor of light. Oh, yeah.
is contagious. Now we can finally fly. It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be really challenging. Hey, but the people who make this world a bad place, they just need a hug, bro. It all breaks down. They just need a hug. Flame Kingdom. Wow, bro. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> oh my god, that was so good. I'm not sure if it's done right now. Written and directed and animated by Lumbomir as Arasov, executive producer Aubrey Marcus. All oh, Aubrey Marcus. Original score composed and produced by Daniel Dub. Damn, man. But guys, this is amazing, you know. I feel like, you know, the people who are the most hurt, you know, you've heard that saying, right? Hurt people hurt people. And that's the reason why people hurt people. It's because they're hurt within, you know. Like, look, if I was hurt within, I would be hurting other people or even worse, hurting myself, right? 
And that's the reason why other people like hurt people because they're hurt, right? There's, it's nothing, it's nothing that deep, right? I mean, when it comes to like personal experiences and what they went through, of course, but at the same time, that's what makes them hurt. And you got to learn how to heal uh, those emotions. You got to learn how to heal your body, your mind, your soul, physicians, physicians of the soul. And because if you don't, then it's going to be a disaster for you. It's going to be a massive disaster and when even when it comes to the people who are in power at the, at the top, you know, the, the social pyramid hierarchy, right? There's a hierarchy in this system. There's a hierarchy, meaning that the elites, uh, the devil, whatever you want to call it, whatever name you have for it, we can agree on something that there is a force, demonic force or a force that this is why, the reason why there's a war going on right now you know, <laughs> Iran attack, right? There's a, there's a attack on Iran or something like that. Right. And even crazier things are going to happen. Things are going to hit the fan before it gets completely better. Now I'm not spreading fear, right? You're not supposed to, you're, you don't have to be afraid. You just have to embody love and learn how to learn how to control your fear, learn how to control you don't have to control fear, but you just have to embody love and peace. You have to learn how to like vibrate at a higher frequency every single day, right? Going out into nature, going and sitting on the grass or laying on the grass or like putting your bare feet on the grass, you know, talking to people uh, that can help you or stuff like that, right? And it's nothing bad, you know, you can reach your ultimate potential like that, right? And and this video shows literally the light is within you. And also there is darkness within people as well. There is the light and there, and there is the dark. The light creates a shadow, right? Because when you're light, right, you create a shadow and you have to turn around and you have to make peace with that shadow, and that shadow, because we all have a shadow side uh, of ourselves that we don't want to share to the world, right? There, there's a Chinese saying that, Okay, there's like three versions and versions of yourself, the version of yourself that you show to the world, the version of yourself that you show to your family or something, and the version of yourself that you show to yourself, or like by yourself, something like that. There's like three faces, right? I don't know exactly. But, you know, there's, there's different versions that people are playing, you know, sometimes people are playing a character online, people are playing this and that, you know, and honestly, the version that you see me like on these on every every video that I make, it's who I am. You know, if <laughs> if I was playing a character, if I was playing like a character like SpongeBob or Mr. Krabs, bro, I wouldn't even be here right now because we're living in times where there's you just you just can't you just won't be able to play a character anymore. You can't play a caricature anymore and things are going to change uh, for the better moving forward because the light is here. And the light is going to take over. Uh, but at the same time, it's going to be a big challenge uh, for billions of people uh, to accept because they've been told a lie uh, that's been going on for not only years, but centuries. And also, um, the people who are on top, they just need a hug, right? They just need a hug. And what this was showing is that also the people who are on top and that are contr so-called controlling us... Um, I won't say controlling this, but controlling the masses through uh, the media, through the news, right? Because the news spread a lot of fear, right? And it's not bad to watch the news. It's just like, just look at the news and look at what they're not saying, okay? But you got to take your time with that. You don't want to spend the whole day watching the news. <clears throat> you want to spend just a little bit of time just watching, uh, see what see what's going on. And also, like, they're, sp they're spreading fear and propaganda and, you know, the pandemic and all these different things, you know, the celebrities, you saw what happened to P. Diddy, right? His house get raided. Like these celebrities are not what you think they are. Uh, even with the alien disclosure stuff, uh, the mainstream media didn't even like look at it or they didn't even like, I guess, accept it in some type of way. And I realized that, you know, uh, that's the reason why we've been so conditioned. We so we've been co so controlled uh, through z through these indoctrination systems, right? Like school, basically, like they put beliefs or they put things into you without you questioning it. Like they already have a system of what they're gonna teach you in school. I can just talk on and on and on of like uh, the things uh, that this world presents to you, which are not true. 
like which are not true especially in the western society right because the eastern and all this type of stuff is is completely different right they have different schools and different ways of thinking i'm talking mainly about the western society but also mainly it's infiltrated around the whole world if not just a tad bit you know <clears throat> and i realized that you know all these politicians and all these world leaders are corrupt. Uh, you know, even America, when it first got started, uh, like George Washington was a Freemason. I'm not saying that that was corrupt, but, you know, just, you just got to look into many different things that and this is not even a conspiracy theory because it's been a, a really, really proven. There's really their stated facts. And if anybody tries to like, you know, tries to like, oh, like, oh, no, you're conspiracy theorists, you're this and that. They just have cognitive dissonance, meaning that they just want to accept what they've been told. And they don't want to hear anything that really um, breaks their belief systems. Because if that happens, it's I don't want to do that. Because you know what happens when you when you tell somebody something controversial or like something that's not in your capable of reality, they break down. They have mental breakdowns, and I don't really want to see that. But honestly, that's that's gonna be what it, what's gonna that's what's gonna take uh, to get us get, get ourselves to a better world and a better future because the world needs it. The world needs love and positivity. And first, we got to go through all that negativity. I mean, even if I when I scroll through Twitter, you know, bro, I see some really crazy things going on even in schools this is just a symptom this is just a a, a symptom of the system <laughs> oh shoot that's what i said it's just a symptom of the system meaning that there's an underlying issue that needs to be addressed and if we don't address it quick we're gonna be extinct <laughs> we're gonna be extinct and we're just gonna destroy ourselves so yeah i'm choosing higher vibes i'm choosing positivity and I'm choosing love because without it, we're nothing. So, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, man, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day, man. Peace.